In the project, we'll be bringing three of our autonomous shuttles to Sunderland, where we'll be running around the city centre from Park Lane Metro Station to the hospital uh, via the university and back again. The origin really comes out of Sunderland, our smart city. We're investing significantly in next generation digital infrastructure and a whole range of digital and data solutions to make Sunderland a great place to live, work and play. It's an autonomous shuttle, fully autonomous. We'll have a safety driver on board uh, to monitor the systems and ensure everyone is safe. Uh, but effectively the shuttle will drive itself around using series of sensors that you can see, lidars and cameras, and uh, we'll be operating five days a week, uh, probably in 2024 after uh, a few months of setup. Next generation 5G network will provide the backbone of the infrastructure in which the self-driving or Arigo shuttles will work. Um, our intelligent transport corridor, which is the route that we're going to take passengers down, interacts with our urban traffic management centre in the heart of Newcastle so that actually we can fully monitor at all times the autonomous vehicles running on the road and we can look at doing things like changing traffic sequences etc. The fact that we're going to be running autonomous shuttles in a very busy urban environment, that we're going to be transporting passengers, the amount of effort that we're going to put into engagement uh, with the general public, with passengers, with operators so that we can really gain very valuable insights and one of the biggest unique areas of the project is our remote supervision. So as part of the feasibility, we're going to be testing what we call one-to-many remote supervision. So how can somebody remotely be in charge of these vehicles and actually how many vehicles can they be in charge of at any one time? So at the moment, we have to have a safety driver on board the vehicle, but we want to get to a position where the safety driver can be off board, so it's fully driverless. With Newcastle University, uh, we'll be looking at how that will happen how this uh, remote operations work, how do people feel about being a remote operator, but also how do the public feel about getting inside a vehicle that has no driver that's visible, and uh, what do the general public feel? The, this project is really important to us because that next step is really where the industry needs to go to before driverless vehicles can really be accepted and therefore be commercially viable. I think what's important about the project is the fact that it's just so groundbreaking, autonomous vehicles as we know are the future, and actually to be involved in this research and development project and creating a lasting legacy for the future is hugely exciting. Zero emission, carbon neutral, um, providing passenger choice, supporting you know, heavily subsidised routes currently that we know that cannot continue to be subsidised, supporting things like transport to hospitals for out of hours workers so people can, you know, attend sites safely. There's just so many very exciting and unique aspects to this project. Without the funding, we would not be here today. We would not be delivering this project. The funding is hugely important to us. It is match funded, so partners are putting quite a lot of contribution towards the project. But without that significant contribution from Innovate UK, it, we wouldn't be here and it wouldn't be happening. The future for this project is reality. We are going to be seeing these amazing shuttles running on the Sunderland roads early 2021. Four. We'll be having two of these shuttles running on a continuous loop Monday to Friday in the main body of the day. We'll have real people, real passengers traveling on these shuttles. We'll be making a difference. They will complement existing public transport, but I think the excitement is really about then through the project, how can we make these shuttles a reality all across the UK, in fact, all across the world for the future.